What's up, WordPress Warriors? It's Patrick Gallagher. It is Friday uh, the 5th, yeah. And um, we've got a big update. So uh, I'm gonna go quickly because I'm just about out of time with uh, our babysitter and, um, and I gotta get started on dinner. Uh, so I'm gonna try and cover as much material as I can as quickly as possible. Um, we pushed a major, huge, massive, hundreds and hundreds, I think like 900 changes into the platform. One of the things that you may see right off the bat is the new um, server status which if you're seeing failed in the server status, we've already pushed out a notification about this. The server itself isn't failed. Um, one, of, one of two things is true. Either it's a server that you've deleted through a different provider and it's still showing in the dashboard here, but we can't connect to it, or um, it is an old Plaid server, okay? And it doesn't run the newest scripts, so it can't phone home, so it looks like it's failed. But if you have sites on those boxes, um, they will be running just as they were yesterday. They will continue running tomorrow. They will continue running far into the future, but you should strongly consider moving those um, sites off of Plaid, um, cloning them, migrating them onto new um, servers. Uh, I'm not really gonna jump through all the different things that are happening inside of here. Most of what's going on is specific to Teams and specific to Update Safely, which we have complete details about these things going out into the change log, okay? On the second, we pushed out the completely rebuilt um, Update Safely. It's in CLI format uh, only right now. That's going into the UI very soon. Um, some caching fixes, firewall fixes, fail to ban um, duplicating jails, tons and tons and tons of team fixes you can see here all one two three four five six seven eight nine different teams fixes some staging fixes some things for http auth um, the domains manager all kinds of cool stuff okay um, and again more details are available on the change log um, couple things i wanted to cover on we um we talked briefly about this in the last update where did it go um, we're seeing more and more of your user contributed content and we love it okay so just keep that stuff up um, yeah we posted about the the issues earlier there there was a problem with certain people not seeing things refresh and update um, so they would build a site and it wouldn't update correctly in the um, in the browser view and if you refresh the page it looked right it looks like if you do a full browser cache clearance um, that seems to be resolving all of those issues so we're not aware of anything else that we're dealing with with this latest update other than this sort of server status issue. Um, uh, another thing that we are changing, I'm gonna talk about it now in this video, and some of you are gonna get super pissed off. We're not doing it immediately, but we are doing it very, very soon. Um, on the pricing page right now, you can see that we've removed premium plugins and themes from developer. Um, we're saying that it's only available on enterprise. The reality is, is that, um, you know, I've said many, many, many times before that we'll never take away anything um, that, uh, that once, you're, once you're in on something, you're grandfathered in on those features forever. Um, but the reality is, is that that particular aspect of our business um, has nothing to do with us. It requires lots of external updates and re-downloading things and re-registering things. And some of these things are just going to age out anyway. Um, and we have certain people who literally will push in 35 tickets just back to back to back to back to back and completely overwhelm support. So we're getting rid of all of that. Um, that will not be available at any price point. Um, if you've gotten them, great. If you haven't gotten them, I'm sorry. If for some reason you signed up and that was the primary value decision that you made when you signed up for grid pain definitely reach out to us we'd be more than happy to give you a refund if you if part of the reason that you bought an ltd is because you wanted those things really sorry we're not going to be doing those things um, very very soon we're going to eliminate them completely do not start flooding support right now with last minute chance to try and get all of them because we're just going to not likely uh, respond to those things if you already have one in we're going to be rectifying those we're going to close this out as gracefully as we can but this is just simply this simply has nothing to do with our business and it's not things that we can we can't rely on those third parties to keep their things up and we're not going to support them and it's it's mainly just been a huge pain in the ass and so we're killing that okay and so um 
you know, I'm going to refine what it is that I've said before, will never take away a feature that you're grandfathered in for, um, unless, of course, that feature is not something that Gridpane builds, okay? And these are things that we don't build, and so we can't guarantee the quality of them. We can't guarantee that we're going to renew them and just keep paying forever and ever and ever. You can go and get your own plugins and themes, and again, if you have any problems whatsoever, reach out to us. More than happy to give you a refund. One thing of note, um, specific to refunds, we have had a handful of people that have refunded, um, that specifically their LTDs, all related to financial hardships with COVID. We completely understand that, but we also know that there are many of you, some of you, a couple dozen of you, um, that have reached out to us through various channels. Some of you are already on a wait list. If you are still looking to get an LTD and you're an existing customer, reach out to us. We've got, I think, six or seven spots available. Um, and some of you may already be in conversations with Tom about that, but um, yeah, uh, so there's that. Um, books, I'm gonna start on a light note here and end on kind of a complex note. Uh, I'm gonna be going through and rereading Dune. Um, big sci-fi fan. Many of you obviously have heard of Dune. If you, if you don't know about it, it's definitely worth checking out, but I'm going to actually finally go through and read some of the other ones because I've been reading way too many business books lately, um, and I feel like I need, to, I need to take a break from all of that. So that's what I'm going to be getting after. If there's sci-fi that you would like to recommend to me that's in the realm of like the Culture series or the Hyperion um, books or Dune, definitely reach out to me. I'd love to hear your feedback on that. But before I read that, I'm going to be reading this, White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism. I'm not going to go off on too deep of a tangent here other than to say um, pretty much on a daily basis I'm seeing things that make me absolutely fucking infuriated um, that are happening here in the United States. And, and I think that a lot of the issues ultimately stem from this systemic problem that we have that I'm not going to go into other than to say I want to make myself better in this regard. And so I'm going to start, as I do um, with anything that I want to get better at, I'm going to start by educating myself. And so this is going to the top of my queue. Um, and once I'm done reading it, um, I'll maybe add in some thoughts. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of problems here in the United States um, that they're not new. They've been here for way too fucking long, and it's horrifying. Um, it was horrifying what I was seeing in this country before all of these these you know protests. Um, but then the re the things that have happened as a result of people trying to peacefully protest and the violence that's been inflicted on people, it, it's just it's um, gut wrenching and disgusting, and. Um, I wish you all the best of luck. I hope you're staying safe out there. Um, and yeah, wish I had something more positive to end on um, other than to say we all have lots of room for improvement in education. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that we're all in this ride for a long time together. Um, and I hope that, uh, again, all of you and yours are staying safe and taking care of yourselves. So um, check out the change log. Uh, there'll be a blog post about all of this. Um, feel free, obviously, to leave your comments, good, bad, or otherwise. Um, just understand that uh, if you have really inappropriate comments, we will be not only banning you from our groups, but we will be banning you from our platforms, okay? So everybody gets to have their own opinions, um, but if you share really stupid, um, bad uh, comments, then um, you will be aggressively dealt with, okay? So uh, that's that. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.